everyone, and welcome to CTF Cookbook. This is Basic Buffer Overflow, an essential tool for solving Pwn challenges. So here I have a sample program written in C that'll demonstrate this bug. Uh, first, we're going to define two different buffers. So we have buffer 1, which is defined to be 16 bytes long. And we have buffer 2, also defined to be 16 bytes long. And it's just initialized to a bunch of x's. Next, it's going to call gets on buffer 1. So we're able to supply input to buffer 1. Afterwards, we're going to do a string comparison with buffer 2. So we haven't touched buffer 2, but we're going to do a string comparison with buffer 2. And we're going to see if it's equal to the string impossible. And if it is equal to the string impossible, uh, it sends us back the flag. Otherwise, it says nope. So at first glance, this challenge seems pretty impossible. Um, we're only modifying buffer 1, but somehow uh, we need buffer 2 to be equal to impossible. Uh, thankfully, we're able to exploit this using the basic buffer overflow. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to write input such that we completely fill up buffer 1 with 16 bytes of data. And once we've done that, we're actually able to continue overwriting and overwrite into buffer 2. And so this is where the word basic buffer overflow comes from. We're just overflowing this buffer and writing to other contents on the stack. Um, there's a number of functions that allow you to do buffer overflows. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using the gets function, but you can also use scanf and memcopy, and there's a whole list of them that are insecure. To see what a solution looks like, uh, let's open up a terminal. So first, let's just run the challenge and send some bad input. So if we run it, let's type in some A's, we get the string nope. If we actually do the buffer overflow exploit, to do that, we need to send 16 A's, so or 16 bytes of anything. I'm just going to send A's. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then we send the string impossible. Impossible question mark. And if we did everything correct, we get the flag. So we were able to fill up this first buffer, buffer 1, with all A's, and then start overflowing into the second buffer and write the string impossible, and we get back the flag. So you can solve challenges like this in Terminal, but it's way better to actually write a solve script. And so this is what a solve script would look like for a challenge like this. So we're going to write it in Python, uh, which is kind of the standard for writing CTF solutions. And we're going to import a library called Pwn Tools, which is just an amazing library for solving challenges like this. We're going to start a process uh, with the chow binary. And from here, we have a little handle p that we can use to communicate with this process. So we're going to send it a line. We're going to send it 16 a's. Again, it could be any character you want. And then we're going to send it the string impossible. After that, we open up a interactive, and that way we can communicate with the process. Really, in this challenge, we're just going to be waiting for the, the output, which is the flag. So let's run this. We're going to do python3 solve.py. Pwn Tools gives us a bunch of debug information. So it says it's starting a local process. It's switching to interactive mode. The challenge is, or the process has stopped, and we get the flag. So super cool. During a normal CTF challenge, uh, they would ask you to connect to a remote host. Uh, and so they give you a netcat host and port. And this is how you would do that. Instead of starting the process locally, we're going to connect uh, to the challenge server. Again, they're going to supply this well, along with the port. Um, and the rest of the code is the same, which is why Pwn Tools is so cool. Again, we're just going to have a P, we're going to send line, and we're going to do an interactive. Anyways, uh, that is the basic buffer overflow, an essential tool. Uh, we use it all the time, and it also opens the gateway to more powerful sort of buffer overflow primitives. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, please follow along in the playlist. Um, the next episode will be on ret to win another very popular technique. If you'd like to download the challenge files, uh, you can download them at ctfcookbook.com. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next